hello you're yeah, welcome to my channel this morning this is the musing of the spirit channel a platform where we reveal the intent and the mind of the holy spirit to bring you joy peace health and encouragement in your day-to-day -day work as a christian you're yeah, welcome to my channel amen today i have a very important topic to discuss amen and the title is jesus in the marketplace how to take jesus to our marketplaces to our working places amen it is a desire of god for us to share the good news with people we relate to it on daily basis this can be our co-workers our bosses at work uh clients at work or customers that comes around to do one thing or the other in our working places it is a desire of God for us to carry him to wherever we go on our daily place on our daily on daily basis and to share him with the world around us. Hallelujah. So many of us we just wake up, we have our morning devotion, do our daily prayers, uh, and that's all. And we keep Jesus at home while we go back to work. And when we return back in the evening also. We also do our evening prayers, go back to sleep, and the circle continues like that. We don't take Jesus with us to our working places, to our business places. We keep him at home. The Lord wants us to change our habits. He wants this to change in our lives. He wants us to go with him to our working places. He wants us to share the good news with our, employer, with our co-workers at work, our friends and family members amen this is not to be a nuisance in the working place carrying the bible up and down and trying to preach to people all around no that era is uh, is, is past you need to uh, develop other options for you to share the good news with people around you in your business places and in your working places and this is what i will be sharing with you today so i'll share three ways by which you can you know, uh, take Jesus to your working places and to your business places and share him with the world so that other people also can get to know him and can get to give their lives to him and be born again. Amen. That is the desire of God for us. So how do you take Jesus to the marketplace? How do you take Jesus to your office? How do you take Jesus to the company where you work? How do you take Jesus to your business places hallelujah the first thing is to carry uh, the presence of god with you everywhere you go how do you carry god's presence with you on daily basis yes. the first thing you can do to carry the presence of god with you is uh if you are going to work and you know you'll be committing to work using uh, buses and uh, a car or you may have a car play uh, messages of good men of god you can get messages on youtube play as you go to work and as you come back to work from work and also you can play songs you can play songs on your phone you can play messages and you can even hear audio bible as you commute to work each and every day this will allow your heart to be in sync with the spirit of god it will allow you to carry god from your house to your working places and even at at, uh, at your working places or business premises you can also uh, pray in tongues anytime you have free time or in your break time or you are working and you can still speak in tongues here and there in the working places this will allow your presence of god all around you as you move around your offices as you talk to people around and as you you know do one or two things in your marketplace in your office in your business places you are carrying the presence of god with you and when this becomes an habit it is a good thing because the holy spirit will have uh, the opportunity to always talk with you to always commune with you and you also will have opportunity to always talk with the holy spirit too as you carry out your activities at work and even in your business places so that is the first thing you will need to do to take Jesus to the marketplace. The second thing you can do to take Jesus to your working places or to your business places is to let your life be an example of a believer to people around you. 
People don't need to know that you are a Christian by you having to share the gospel with them here and there, but live a life that is worthy of emulation. Live a life that is worthy, that the Lord can, you know, affirm with, just like he, as he did to Job. And he was using Job, saying, look at Job, look at what he did, look at what he did, look at what he did. Live a life of ex uh, as an example of a Christian. Let your life, let your light shine in and around you, in your working places, and in, the, in your business, the people who do, they don't need to know. When they see you, they know they have seen Jesus. When they hear you, they know they hear Jesus talking to them. That is how you should live your life. Let people know that you are a Christian. Not by writing it on your forehead, but your behavior should show that you are a Christian. And when people uh, see all these things, they will want to come near you. They will want to come and seek counsel from you. They will want you to pray with them. They will want you, you know, to they want to confide in you. And as they do so, you can easily introduce them to Jesus. So this thing is easier than you think when you live a life of an example of a Christian. Some of us, we are only Christian in church on Sundays. And uh, through, from Monday to Friday, we are back to what we used to be. We dress the way we want. But when it comes to church activities, we dress to please the brethren in the church. We dress to please our pastors in the church. This should not be so. You should be a Christian uh, 24, um, 247. Be a Christian 247. Don't choose different dresses for school, uh, different dresses for church, different dresses for the business place or your working places. Be an example of a believer. People will see the way you dress and say, no, this girl is a Christian. They will hear the way you talk and say, this girl talks with grace. This girl talks with, you know, this guy is a Christian. And always be willing to assist people in your offices, in your business places, don't frown, always, always smile, always be eager to assist people to do one thing or the other. Doing it this way will enable you to have opportunity to share Christ with them. Don't be self, um, don't be, uh, what is that word now? Don't be selfish. Don't face only your work and leave other people alone. Get to know other people around you. Familiarize yourself with your co-workers. Smile with them, ask after them, ask after their family members, ask after things that bother them. When it's people that are bothered or concerned with one thing or the other around you, find out what it is. Pray with them. Pray with people. Help them to solve their problems if you can. That is being an example of a believer so that your life itself will preach Christ to people around you. They want to be like you. They will want to talk like you. They will want to pray like you. That is the way to be an example of a believer in your working places and in your business places. And this shows that you are taking Jesus with you to your marketplace. Amen. Now the third point is to pray for opportunities to share the gospel in your working places and in your business places if you are a business person. Pray for opportunities. People, the Holy Spirit knows how to connect you with who needs to be saved, where they need to be saved, and things like that. And it will always make connections happen during the day in your offices, even in your business places. For example, we, I and my husband, we traveled to, traveled to Accra. That was last year, August. And we got a, a Uber, a, an Uber, an Uber, a Uber taxi. We traveled to Accra. We got a... Uh, and Hubbard Taxi that was playing deeper life messages. He is a Ghanaian, we were we are Nigerians. So we, we had him playing deeper life messages and we from there we started talking with him. Are you a Christian? Say, yeah, do you go to say yeah I attend deeper life church and I like playing messages in my Uber. Each time I carry passengers I like playing messages. That is another way to share gospel, share the gospel with people in the marketplace. And from there, we decided talking with, while talking with him, we discovered that he is a believer also. That is a good way to share the gospel. So pray for opportunities that to, to come your way during the day. As you leave the house, you make your morning prayers. Also ask the Holy Spirit for opportunities to minister to people in your business places, in your working places, so that you can share Christ with the world. You don't have to carry your Bible up and down. Your life should speak 
of who you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is what the Lord wants us to do. He said we should go to the world and evangelize. We should win souls into the kingdom of God. So these are the three ways you can win souls, even while you walk in your working places and in your business places. So let me summarize the whole point again. We said, number one, you have to carry the presence of God with you if when you are going to your working places and your offices. Number two, you have to live a life of an example of a Christian, be an example of a believer, an example of a Christian, so that people can look at your life and emulate it. They can look at your life. When they look at your life, they see Christ in you and they encourage also to be like you. And from there, you can make you can you can communicate with them and share the good news with them easily without having to be a border even unto them. And the third point we say is to pray for opportunities to share the Lord Jesus Christ with people around you in your offices and in your environment even at large. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope you are blessed by this uh, discussion this morning. If you have not yet subscribed, please press the subscribe button and the notification bell so that each time I, re uh, I release new videos, you'll be the first person to know and to watch and be blessed by it. Amen. Remember, God loves you and I love you too. Bye-bye.